So about 15 years ago, I built this arcade system. And uh, it's been fun. It's also hasn't been used a lot and actually sat outside my house on the porch for about 10 years, uh, which took a toll on the particle board that it's made out of. I've recently uh, had to cut off the bottom because it was all rotted, put new wood down there, redid this. So this was the original controller I bought for it, uh, which was a little heavier duty, but uh, I put in my own controls that light up here. Uh, I have a little more control over those. Uh, and right now it's this TV. So this TV I bought for this project. When I bought it, you could still buy two TVs like this, but uh, they were going out. So it was hard to find. I spent like 250 bucks on this screen and uh, it's the picture on it's going. It's getting hard to read and I, I hate to replace it because it has more of that arcade feeling being a tube monitor, but uh, I can barely read words on the screen when I'm doing setups. Uh, trying to get RetroPie installed. So the computer inside I've changed out a number of times and I actually just installed RetroPie on a Raspberry Pi that I wasn't using. And um, because I have like three Raspberry Pis sitting around because I have no use for them, so I, I'm using one. Uh, I did get this TV kind of for free. Uh, I, it, it, it's a long story, but it didn't cost me anything and it's just about the right size. I might have to build a little bit of wood frame around it, but it will work out well. It also will help prevent me. Originally, I had a computer in there that had a video card that had RCA output or uh, S video output because this TV has S video and uh, two um, RCA component connections on the back for the video input. And uh, that was great back in the day when I had a computer that had that output, but newer computers don't tend to have that. Uh, last I had in there was a Chromebook that I had Debian running on. And uh, I had to end up buying a little $15 HDMI to RCA converter, which has actually worked pretty well, but it's extra wires I don't need, especially now that I have the Raspberry Pi in there. Uh, so I can take that out of the equation and it'll probably make this whole unit a lot lighter to get this TV out of here. But I feel, I feel wrong about replacing the tube monitor with this. So what do, what do you think? What do you think? Do you think, you think I should keep this monitor until it dies? And it is slowly going. Um, I, the remote was destroyed from being outside, so I can only turn it on and off and use the buttons here. And sometimes they're not very responsive. Sometimes I got to press the power button a couple times to get it to come on. So I might end up having to replace it uh, sooner than later. Um, but I'm just curious what you guys think. Should I leave the tube monitor in there, or should I switch over to the flat screen here, which has it only, woo, it only has one uh, HDMI connection, and it's also got uh, the component ends, but it's, it's well, I guess it does have component in, but um, I won't be using that. Um, yeah. I was just looking at doing this and just wondering what you guys think. So let me know in the comments below. And happy gaming. Just for reference, this is what the screen looks like right now, just sitting there, kind of pathetic. Uh, but again, I'll be adding black wood here and here, all around it and probably make it so that it can like snap into place, like little clips or something. Um, so yeah, I mean, I could definitely fit a slightly bigger screen, but again, I didn't have to pay for this monitor and it was just about the right size. So yeah, we'll see. I might give it a try and I can always go back, right? 